Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to be unboxing um, June's Z Box Mutate. Um, now I'm a little bit nervous because I've not always had, I've had not all oh, can't speak English. I'm a little bit nervous because I've not always had the best experience with Z Box. But those of you who've been watching recently, you would know that I only paid fifteen pounds for this box and a welcome box and like a mystery thing. So could shouldn't be too bad no matter what's in here. It's quite heavy, so I'm thinking maybe a mug. But I obviously haven't looked, so let's just get on with it. I think normally these are twenty pounds, so. There's something squishy. Okay, let's just go for this first, whatever this is. Oh, okay, it's a t-shirt, so I'll leave that for last. Okay, what are you? Okay, there is a um, Disney Infinity Superheroes Hulk. Now, I don't play the Infinity games. I don't even really understand. I know they're everywhere, these Infinity figures, but... I assume you can play games when you have this, if you have the game. Yeah, it works with video game. I feel that's a bit of a weird thing to give, because unless you have the video game, it's, it's just a random statue. Which, I mean, it's fine, but it's, it's, it's a bit like, um, it's like weirdly cartoony. But I don't know how much these go for, so maybe it's a good deal, maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh. Okay, they've put a huge fabrication in, um, which is kind of cute. Um, I know fabrications aren't that cheap, I think they're about £15 normally. Um, but yeah, I was expecting like loads of X-Men items in this, because of it being really so close to X-Men. Um, but that's obviously two items that are not X-Men. I do like the Ninja Turtles. Um, I think that's Michelangelo's really is my favourite, but I do... This sort of means I need all of them though, which is a bit of an issue. I don't really have anywhere to put them, but okay. It's not a bad item. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Okay, we've got a book and um, just the leaflet. So I'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so we do have an X-Men um, graphic novel. Which... Um, as I said before, I don't really normally read graphic novels, and I have just had another X-Men graphic novel, so maybe I'll try them, maybe I'll get into them. Um, let me have a quick look inside. Yeah, well, okay, really? There's a dinosaur in that one, that's a bit weird. Um, I might have to give that a go, give that a whirl. It looks pretty cool. So there's that one. Um, so let's do the t-shirt and then we'll look at the uh, booklet. Okay, so the t-shirt, I think it might be an apocalypse one. Yeah, that looks to me like it's apocalypse. I could be wrong, but in the X-Men it was all set up that he was beneath an Egyptian temple, so I'm assuming that is what that is. So that's kind of cool. It's not massively, obviously X-Men. I think a lot of people wouldn't realise that's what it was if uh, they hadn't seen the film. So you could probably get away with wearing that to anything, really. Um, right, so just to recap, we've got the Hulk Infinity. We've got the Fabrications. Fabrication, rather. The T-shirt and the graphic novel. All in all, um, the box probably is worth its value. Um, they're not necessarily items I would have picked up, but they're not bad items. Um, I know fabrications, like I say, normally go for about £10-15. Pounds. Um, I don't know how much these are, but I'm going to guess about seven between 7 and 10 T-shirt, £10. Pounds. And the graphic novel, I'm not sure. I've never even, like I say, tried to purchase a graphic novel. Uh, this says it's worth $25, so you're talking about 17 quid. but... Who, who really would pay that for, for this sort of book? I'm going to guess you can pick these up for between five and seven pounds. So overall, it's it's a good priced box, um, and I will give some of these a go. And if not, um, I know that if I was to put these up on eBay, I'd probably make my value back anyway. But I don't know. I might have to keep this fabrication because it's kind of cute. We'll see. Okay, so let's see what it says in this book. Yeah, I was really expecting to get a Wolverine item, so it's a bit, mm, 
but I mean that's not their fault I don't suppose that's just my guesswork what? ever wonder what your mutation in the X-Men universe would be now you can find out with our Z-Box patent Mutatron 3000 simply look up your initials below and find out whether you'll be helping sa helping save the world or well just grossing people out take your initial of your first name So my name's Viral. Um, viral taste. What a shit name that is. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I think Xbox. Xbox. What? Uh, I think Zedbox did pretty well this time. Again, it's not really necessarily items I would have chosen for the theme, but they're not bad items. They're just not like massively within my. Um, I guess that makes sense. Um, this one especially, I think I'm going to try and offload this, see if I know anyone that wants it because I don't have the game, it doesn't mean anything to me, it's just a statue and I already have loads of pop statues, I don't think I need to start collecting another type. But yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching guys, I will have some more unboxings for you soon. Um, I have got some, I've got Tokyo Treat Crate coming and I've got another perfect box and a Degusta box and some other things so keep an eye out for those and I will see you soon bye for now